Hey, what's up, guys? It's Teacher Ben. Konnichiwa. I'm coming to you with yet another Japanese lesson specialized for you. In today's short lesson, we're going into my second installment in the ongoing series of Japanese alphabet hiragana. All right, hiragana. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I do want to state that I am using cards from uh, Dr. Moku's Hiragana and Katakana definitely uh, endorsed this product. It worked for me. Uh, without without further ado, let's get into the Hiragana lesson. Okay, so here we have what Ka looks like. Ka and this, uh, they say Batman will never catch the Joka. The Joka. So, uh, yeah. So that is... Uh, a good way to memorize that I I did realize that it was a relatively easy one to learn because it's just uh, well from learning Chinese it looks like the Chinese Li okay which also means strength okay so next we have uh, Japanese hiragana ki ki and it looks like this they actually draw a picture up here in the top that helped me think of it whatever works for you that is a picture of a key so it says here the key is to keep thinking okay keep uh keep working hard and uh trying hard to memorize these so that is a key okay next we have a very easy one it is ku i didn't really need the moon monomic but it is you can see that is a, a cuckoo bird and it says cuckoo cuckoo okay so the next one I did use the monomics for many times when I was first using learning hiragana. Uh, this is uh, ke, ka, K E, ka, and they say uh, ketchup chemistry, whatever that means, but uh, it is a picture of a chemistry set. And you can see down here, you use your chemistry set to experiment with ketchup. Okay, so that's what it looks like, ka. All right, and we are to our last uh, hiragana uh, alphabetical letter in the K section. Okay, we have uh, ko, ko. This one took a while, but uh, yeah, it says it's a copy. So they look like a copy. The bottom line is a copy of the top one. Okay. Uh, actually, I used a different uh, monomic for this, and I thought of koi fish. So this is a one fish, and this is the other fish, and koi also is a ko. Uh, so that's how I learned ko in the hiragana language. Okay, so there you have it. That is my second installment in the ongoing series of Japanese hiragana, uh, Japanese alphabet hiragana second installment. Stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon. To stay up to date on these and get notified when the longer videos will be posted, please like and smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben. Otsukari-sama deshita. Otsukari-sama deshita.